Hey YouTube, this is Chris Carr. Welcome to my channel. This is Butcher Block and Kettle. Okay guys, we had some technical issues with the audio from the second portion of the pork belly video. So here's a recap of what we've done so far. First we scored and seasoned the pork belly place it on top of some rough cut vegetables, pop it in a 500 degree oven for 45 minutes. Top should be nice and blistery. You want to take it out, lower the oven temperature to 350 degrees, and then add one bottle of dry red wine. I used a Cabernet Franc into the bottom of the pan. You don't want to get on top of the uh, pork belly because it will burn. Uh, and then bake it for an additional two and a half to three hours uh, until it's at the tenderness that you like. And that's about where this video is going to pick up. All right, so we just pulled it out of the oven. This one, uh, because it's a smaller pork belly, actually went probably right at about an hour and a half, two hours. Uh, you can see instantly that uh, just how velvety and silky this uh, this broth out here is. Um, you want to check and see. You're really, of course, it's going to be done. You want to check for tenderness. If you uh, if you get pretty good passage with the uh, with the skewer, um, you don't. Hit, it doesn't really uh, like hit a, a tough spot. Then you've got the right kind of tenderness you want. So it's super tender on the bottom, and you can hear that crackling on top. It's like it's like uh, it best stop crackling right here. So get that ready. Uh huh. Dog's excited. We'll uh, set that over here. So uh, getting ready to plate. You take your uh, take your one gallon Ziploc bag, and you want to kind of put the corner. And if it's got that uh, that false bottom in there, it's kind of more to the side, but. Shove that down into like a tall vessel, if you don't have a pastry bag that is, and I do not. Uh, put that over like that. Take your uh, sweet potato and goat cheese mixture, and you just wanna get that into that bag. And again, this is, it's kind of a, a, a bougie way to plate, but if you, uh, if you just wanna scoop this out on your plate, it will eat just the same. There we go. Then push that down in there. A little bit more in there. There we go. All right. Okay. So you have something like this, and that way you can uh, just get you a good cut, kind of right there in the middle, and then you can uh, plate it out of that. I'm gonna go ahead and slice this pork belly. See how we did. So we'll get under here with the spatula. If it doesn't fall apart on you. All right. Now, again, like I said, when the way we scored it originally was it kind of helps with plating as well. So uh, you hear that nice crackle? Go through with this knife. Look at that. Uh, falling apart. Wonderful pork. You did good. So nice crispy top, nice tender base. Yeah, ain't too bad, huh? Okay.